creating multiple variations into your Google ad can help you to find out the best performing ad which you can scale to a million dollar, right? And in this video, I'm going to talk about and give you a step by step tutorial on what is ad variation and how you can use this feature into your Google ads. So let's go to my Google ads dashboard and understand how we can do this. So guys, as you can see right now, I am in my Google ads account. This is my dashboard. And now in order to find out the ad variation option, first, there are two options. If you want to find out the option on all campaigns level, then you have to scroll it a little bit down. And here in the suggested section, you'll be able to see this option show more. Click on this and here you will be able to see the experiment option where you will be able to find out the ad variation option. If I click on this, here is the ad variation option, right? This is on all campaign level. Now, if you want to see this option in a campaign level, then you have to go back in the overview section and here you have to go to campaigns and open one particular campaign. And once the campaign gets opened, go to ads and assets and click on this plus icon. Here you'll be able to see this ad variation, right? So this is on campaign level. And if I go back to the all campaign level, because the all campaign level is, you can see a good option. Now, if I click on this, it is asking to create or edit an ad variation, go to all campaign level, right? So let me go back to all campaign level. Now I'm in all campaign level. Now here uh, it is saying new ad variation. If I click on this, this is the uh, ad variation creation process. Now, first it is asking that we, you have to apply this variation into all campaigns or any selected campaign. Obviously we would like to add variation in any selected campaign, right? If I apply this, uh, this ad variation into all campaigns, then it might not be that much logical, right? So let's select campaigns here let's say i'm selecting this campaign although it is not running but yeah i want to select this campaign i'll resume this campaign if i want right so i'm selecting marketing fund as ppc tutorial i've selected this campaign hit the done button the campaign is selected now here is one more option that filter ads if you want you can filter your ads as well if i show you by selecting the drop down menu so these are the uh, basically properties which you can filter and let's say you just want to see the headlines or the descriptions. You can filter by these uh, properties, right? Or if you don't want to add any filter, just hit the continue button and you'll be into the ad variation creation process, right? Now here we have the option find and replace, right? We have few more options, update URLs or update text, right? But the find and replace option is one of the best. You can make changes into your headlines, your descriptions in order to uh, create uh, more variations, in order to create multiple variations so that you can check that uh, which ad or which headline or which description is getting the highest CPC, right? So that you can scale those particular ad variations, right? Now, as you know that I have selected the campaign, which is Marketing Fundas PPC, right? Let me open this in a new tab. Let me open the campaign in a new tab so that I can show you the campaigns. And this was the campaign, right? This is Marketing Fundas PPC tutorial. If I click on this, the campaign will open. And if I go to ads and assets, and if I edit this particular ad so that I can see the headline and description. So as you can see, this is the ad which I'm going to uh, create one ad variation of this particular ad, right? Now there is one headline. If I show you, here is the headline that says, check out our services, right? So I, uh, here in this ad, I'm asking my target audience to check out my services, right? So there's one kind of a CTA you can see. Uh, in the headline. But now let's say I want to add one variation that says book our services. Instead of checkout, I want to add book. So I want to test whether the book word is more clickable or checkout word is more clickable in this headline, right? So I have to create the variation here, right? I'm going back to my uh, uh, add variation creation process and here I'm writing checkout, right? And if you want, you can change the property as well. Let's say you just, uh, you want to find and replace in description or you want to find and replace in headlines and description, both maybe in path or URL or mobile URL. 
So this is up to you that which property you want to select. But most of the cases, in most of the cases, you will ha find helpful only these three options, right? Headlines, description, and headline and descriptions, right? Right now I am choosing headlines, but if you want, you can choose uh, descriptions or headline descriptions as well, right? So I have added the word that find checkout in the headlines and replace with book, right? So this is the word or you can say variation I want to add. Now here we have two more options uh, like match case if you want to change uh, match the case as well. Like uh, here I have written this checkout in small letters and if I go back to my here I have uh, added the C word in capital letter but not uh, to worry. I don't want to add the match case right. Now we have one more option match whole word only. Right, but uh, I don't want to select these options. If you want, you can select. Then, after adding the variation, just hit the continue button. Now, there is one more option that what will be the start and end date of this variation and what you want to name this variation. Uh, let's say checkout versus book variation. Right, so this is the variation I have created checkout versus book whether the checkout uh, word is uh, more clickable or whether the book word is more clickable in the headlines right now the start date is 26th of april which is today otherwise if you want you can change the date as well and the uh, you can add end date as well now here is the experiment split that how much split you want to add into your campaign right so it is defaultly set on 50 percent let's say uh, your this particular headline this which i have uh, added into the variation Right. So this particular headline shows approx 100 times. So uh, as I have uh, selected experiment split only 50%, which means 50% your headlines will be shown check out our services and 50% our headline will be shown book our services. Right. Because I have replaced the checkout word with book. Right. So 50, 50, uh, 50 times my headline will be shown like check out our services and 50 times my headline will be shown like book our services. Right. So this is if you want, you can change the number. Now, once everything is done, hit the create variation and your variation is created now. Now, once your ad starts get uh, uh, gets resumed, you will see the number here. You will see uh, able to see the number and you will be able to find out that which particular uh, variation is working for you and getting the best results possible. Right. Then. Once you find out these things, you can apply multiple variations into your campaign in order to find out that which thing is working for you or which thing is working for you not, right? Once you find out the perfect combination, you can scale that combination into million dollar as well, right? So I hope you understood the process and if you still have any question or query, please comment down below. I'll answer those questions in the comment section itself. Also, don't forget to hit that, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.